first you want to get all of your tools out. You'll want a drip pan, a new oil filter, new oil, some rags, tools, a funnel. <laughs> um, and we're also replacing our air filter tonight. So to start your oil change, you're going to want to run your vehicle for a few minutes to get the oil warm. Um, and then turn it off. And then you'll, you will be looking for um, this little area. And that's where you put in the new oil. Um, but for now, we need to drain the old oil. So we're going to unscrew this um, and then just leave it on the top a little loose. So next step is to get under the vehicle and look for the oil pan. And there will be a nut on the bottom, um, which is where we're going to drain the old oil from. <laughs> Jonathan has his repurposed mats carpet that he won't get rid of, but it's ended up being pretty helpful. Um, you might want a glove and also a drip pan for the oil to go into because it will start pouring out. There's our uh, nut to unscrew and our oil filter is there. There you can see it. It's blue. We'll replace that after uh, after we drain the oil. And the oil is draining. So this is our new air filter that we're going to replace tonight. Nice and clean and beautiful. Um, Here's the oil. Pretty gross. Not terrible, but pretty gross. So our um, air filter goes into this area, um, and it has little clips that we just took off. Basically, all you have to do is put the new one in, and close it back up. Now he's going to go ahead and get back under the vehicle and put that nut back on oil drip pan so that we can fill it with new oil. So here we have the oil draining out. It's almost done. And uh, here is our oil filter. And uh, it should just be hand tight. You want to make sure that you have your oil pan underneath your filter as well so that it catches any oil that comes out of that. You want to lube up the new oil filter with some oil on that o-ring and then he's going to uh, replace it and put it back where the other one was. So you can check your owner's manual to see which kind of oil your engine takes. Um, and then go ahead and start putting the new oil um, through the funnel in the top of your engine. So based on the recommendation of a relative, we are using Lucas uh, Synthetic Oil Stabilizer alongside of our oil tonight, um, hopefully to help our engine run long and happy. And um, with this uh, stabilizer, it says to use one quart for every four quarts of the oil. You should check how much oil you're at to see if you need to add any more or if it's full. We're checking for hopefully the last time to see if we have enough oil because you don't want to overdo it or you have to get back under there and let some oil out. Alright, whenever your oil is all good, you can shut the hood. Go ahead and drain the old oil into that um, empty bottle that you just used. And you can take it into most places if they offer oil changes. Um, you can also dispose of your old oil there and they can recycle it, and yeah, you're all good to go.